Well, it's set up. I mean, it, it came about because the bankers. This has been a fight throughout history. I mean, uh, Andrew Jackson fought the fight. Thomas Jefferson fought the fight. You know, the bankers have always wanted to control the country because they're very clever and very smart people. And they knew that if they could ever get the government to give them the right to issue the money, they would control the government. They would control the laws of the nation. That's why even today, you look at the immigration laws. You look what's happening with immigration in America. Why is it happening? On one hand, people say we've had this 9-11 attack, and we have to get ID cards for people, RFID chips. Everybody has to be identified. They have to go to the airport. They have to be right. searched. Right. Right? Everything, everything is we've got security foremost in, in everybody's mind, right? But on the other hand, I know if I were the president and 9-11 came, the first thing I would do was shut off the borders. So nobody come in there. So on one hand, they're telling Americans they have to be controlled with ID cards and RFID chips and wanting to chip people. And on the other hand, they're letting everybody come into the border. Terrorists, whoever wants to come in, can just walk over the border and come into the country. So you know it's a lie. It's not about terrorism. It's about the banks controlling the country and the world, working together. This is about the bankers wanting a one-world government with, without borders, that's why everybody's able to come through the borders. It's not about uh, security at all. And so the situation we're facing today is we have a government that's controlled by the Federal Reserve System, and the Federal Reserve System has this appearance of credibility, and Alan Greenspan's the greatest guy in the world, and now Bernanke, you know, and all these guys, oh, the Federal Reserve, you've got to have the Federal Reserve. But in reality, the Federal Reserve is part of the Communist Manifesto. They talk about America having, uh, being a capitalistic society, you know, but yet you have a central bank that makes all the decisions. That's not capitalism. No. It's a no. fraud. It's a lie. They, they, they deceive the people. And, the, and they put out all this spin, all this press. You know, the Federal Reserve is the greatest thing in the world. And they're going to protect us and they're going to make sure there's no more depressions in this country. What they've done is destroy the currency of this country. And they've taken all our gold while destroying the currency. And at some point, they're going to probably pull the plug and create the Greater Depression. You know. And we're talking about the silent hand behind the powers that we see on the news. Yes, totally. There's no question that the banker, who, the bankers control, whether it's George Bush or Hillary Clinton or whoever it is, it doesn't matter, Democrat or Republican, is irrelevant. You know, that, and that, that's why like Michael Moore's movie, even though I enjoyed his movie and I respected what he did as a filmmaker, I thought he did a very good job with that movie, even though I didn't agree with everything he said. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought it was just as a filmmaker, a pure filmmaker, he did a good job. He got his points across. But on the other hand, what he did do was play into what the powers that be want him to play into. How so? He played into it because it was Democrat versus Republican. Mm -hmm. Keeping, it's, 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 keeping it lo more local keep, than no, no, it really keep, is, it's smaller. No, 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 keeping it polarized. Polarized, right. Not smaller, not bigger, keeping it polarized. Red state versus blue state. Liberal versus conservative, Democrat versus Republican. Yes. Michael Moore played into the system and what the, what the people want to happen. They want people looking at Democrats and Republicans and fighting over that. Mm -hmm. Red states and blue states, mm -hmm. but not looking at the Federal Reserve as the real answer. So they hide behind that. It's like the Wizard of Oz, the and guy behind the curtain. The, curtain yeah. the guy behind the curtain. And the guy behind the curtain is the Federal Reserve. Well, it's really, it's not even the Federal Reserve so much as the people behind the Federal Reserve. They use the Federal Reserve as a tool so they can control things. Most of the industrialized West, it doesn't matter. It's all central banks controlling the governments. And the central banks make secret agreements with each other. So the real, the real question is, They've, there's so much debt in this country, they've got to keep things afloat. Mm -hmm. So they have to keep printing tons and tr trillions and trillions of dollars. And it's getting so massive, they don't want to let us know how much they're printing. Right. And uh, we have no way to measure the, how fast we're going to lose the purchasing power of our money. And then on the other hand, if they choose to stop printing money, they can cause the biggest depression that ever happened in this country, in the world. And it's all in these guys' power. I don't want to give them that power. Right. <laughs> and it's unconstitutional and strong. Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, the founders of this country, fought against having a central bank. Right. It was one of the main objects that they fought against. Mm -hmm. And so we have this central bank controlling us and controlling the laws of the nation. It's, uh, we're, we're dealing with very diabolical people, very devious diabolical people who are incredibly intelligent, who control the money supply, they control the army, they control the government.
And uh, it's very hard to stop them. And the way to stop them, in my view, and, I, and it could be done, even though we're very close to it, <laughs> to losing this game. Yeah, the point of no return. Uh, yeah, we're very close to that. But the way to do it is to shut down the Federal Reserve System, to have all Americans, uh, while we still have a chance. Uh, you see, Cong Congress has the legal authority to shut down the Federal Reserve, right? But and, if they don't have the courage to do it, well, because how do we? It, well, because if we mass the protest it and tell every politician, you know, you, 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 that you have to listen to the will of the people, not to the will of the Federal Reserve bankers, and we're going to vote you out of office unless you sign an affidavit saying you're going to shut down the Federal Reserve System. And that will be the litmus test on who to vote for, not whether they're Democrats, not whether they're Republicans, but will you sign an affidavit saying, I will shut down the, I will be part of shutting down the Federal Reserve System. I will vote to shut it down. And drop all the other issues, whether it's gun control or environment or whatever. Because nothing's going to matter if you don't get rid of the Federal Reserve. Right. So if, you can get, if we can get everybody to just focus on the Federal Reserve System like a laser beam and drop all the other stuff temporarily and just shut them down, you'll have a chance of saving the country. You know, that's what it's going to take. And we can still do it because Congress has the authority to do it. And Congress ne needs you and me to vote for them to get back into office. But people start getting involved when they realize what's really happening and how all these central banks of the world are working together. I mean, sometimes you say the word New World Order, or one, and people, oh, you're just a conspiracy or not. You know? No, you know, that's, that's not true anymore, though, is it? Well, some people. Mm -hmm. And so, so I showed George Bush in the movie talking about the New World Order. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, mm -hmm. You know, so just, yes. okay. And so uh, the point is, the New World Order is really where all the governments of the world work, uh, all the central banks of the world work together. They can they control the governments and they can control the laws of the world. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to be forced to listen to these laws. And the laws are about controlling us, not giving us freedom. You know. And so unless we get back to our r idea of individual rights, individual freedoms, and and uh, allow to express yourself in the way you want, you know, we're going to lose this game. And unless people get active and say, well, yeah. I'm going to shut down the Federal Reserve System, I'm going to shut down the powers that be, um, we're doomed otherwise. It's Even if we can't get the Congress to shut down the Federal right. Reserve System, then you shut down the country with massive strikes, get everybody to stop. I mean, you just get it. People, because people are going to begin to realize, because we're coming near the end game, and things are starting to accelerate. Right. There's more people awake now than have ever been before. True. I see that happening, and I think a picture like mine can help wake people up to what the truth is and possibly uh, the word will spread and if we can all get focused on how to win the game instead of all these uh, different uh, what, uh, objectives you know all these different uh, keeping us polarized yeah us well no no I don't even mean that I mean there are mm -hmm. people who are fighting you know to get a better environment there are people who are fighting for the lack of gun control right. there are all these different issues that mm -hmm. are going on around the country mm -hmm. which are all important on their own mm -hmm. But if we can sort of consolidate all that and focus, take all those people and say, listen, we're going to sit down the Federal Reserve first, then we'll deal with those issues. Right. You know, right. Let's go to the agenda, the objective first, then we'll go back to the other stuff. Because right. that's, that's the priority right now. You've got to call off the head of the beast. Right. right. And the head of the beast is the Federal Reserve and the people behind it. You see, and that's what will save this country. And if people understand that, and they stop being good Democrats and stop being good Republicans, but rather become good Americans. Mm -hmm. That's what will save the country.